What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draft here on Magic the Gathering, the internet. I'm going to play, I'm going to do some Guilds of Ravnica here on Arena again. Hopefully you guys are okay with Arena. If you're not, that's sad, but we're going to take this Nullhide Ferox, because that is a solid gentleman. And we get to be green, which is obviously one of the best colors in the format. I don't know if that's true. I think that's actually the opposite of the common, the common thought of them, but anyway... We're still taking the four, the six, six for four, with the with the big with the big butt. Damn, Damn boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. And this lets us shift nicely into Golgari with this deadly visit, which I'm a big fan of, as you guys likely know. So and easily take this deadly visit, deadly Visario. That's not how that's said. Oh, a Rhizome Lurcher. And one of the only good playable cards in this pack. There's also a direct current electrostatic field worth worth noting, but there's no signals to be gained from this draft, so. <clears throat> well, Guildgate. All right. Saratok is also fine. It is a nice secondary four drop, if that's what you're looking for there. Um... Whisper Agent also just fine as well. We'll take the Whisper Agent here. That guy does some does some deeds. What the hell does that mean? I want to take this Iron Shell Beetle. These guys are super valuable if you want the uh, the Golgari deck, which we do because we're we're leaning towards that. I mean, you guys should definitely know how to draft this format by now. It's been it's been forever. I always tell you at Urban Utopia and Paul's Reflection, the art is almost identical. Except Olina Danner is a good friend of mine, so uh, hers is better. Sorry, Jed. Get wrecked. Uh, Veiled Shade's playable mildly. Golgari Locket is not really what we want to be doing. Take Veiled Shade. Oh, a crushing canopy. Significantly better than a guild gate in our two color deck so far. I would even main deck one of these. <clears throat> Fought a lurker, no big deal, but I caught myself singing lurky, lurky, lurky. Okay, that's actually pretty hilarious. Lurky, 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 lurky. I'm going to take this Mephitic Vapors. Another card I don't mind having. Urban Utopia. Come on, Jed. Come on, Jed. Ah, sorry, talk. Nice. Eh, I'm probably not going to play two worms. I have yet to see the, the deck that wants two worms, but... Oh, look, we got the paws back. That's nice. Unmoored Ego. Don't care about that. Murmuring Mystic is great. We're probably just going to take this this little dino, bro. I also don't know what to eat after this. I'm going to get dinner after this draft. So probably like 1 a.m., I would imagine. And I have no idea what I'm going to be eating at that time. Ritual of Soot. I don't know how good it is in our deck, but if we don't have a ton of cheap guys... Actually, maybe it's great in our deck. I would like this district guide to come back, but I don't feel that it's likely. Oh, status statue? Yes, please. That's definitely better than discovery dispersal. I will take that every day. However, I don't hate a discovery dispersal as well. I mean, you mostly just want it for discovery. You just want to be able to surveil to then draw a card. It's not great. Eh, it's it's all right. It's a sorcery. Meh. Could take Demir Guildgate, but I'm just taking take discovery. It's a playable card. Generous kitty cat. Um, Experimental frenzy also nice to have because <clears throat> we don't have a playset yet. I'm watching you play Colors Control on my TV while I watch you live on my phone. You're everywhere in my room right now. That's all I could ask for. That's all I've ever wanted. Ubiquity. Uh, it's either Experimental Frenzy or Generous Stray here. I don't think I care about Might of the Masses. I want to take the Frenzy because I'm greedy. Another Veiled Shade? Dang. I don't care about all that. I also don't care about the Vigor Spine Worm, number three, or the Veil Shade, number two, or the Mephitic Vapors, number two. Might just be Silent Dart for the hell of it. Um, yep, that's a two-drop that we're looking for. Undercity Necrolisk is actually fine in these decks because you have a bunch of cheap guys to get rid of. We've been through this before. 
man. I'll take Uprising. I'm not thrilled about it. I'd like to say we're getting cut right now, but that's not even a thing that can happen here, so... Oh, the Generous 3 came back. That's fantastic. I'm glad I took the rare then. Nicely done, me. Good work, me. Risk Factor. That's another rare I'll probably just take for the sake the of it. The, the hake of it. I'll take it for the hake of it, because uh, we have a Dissonant in here, which I don't care about, so I'm just going to take the Risk Factor. You're going to see me take cards that are not uh, the correct picks, because I do want the cards for my collection on Magic Arena. MTG Arena, if you will. <clears throat> Severed Strands, probably better than Pitiless Gorgon and Crushing Canopy number two. I'll take it. Oh, a dead weight. All right. Ideally, this Crushing Canopy comes back, but I don't. Where's my Fine Brokers at, man? On Magic Online, I could get Fine Brokers for days. Not here, I guess. Glowspore Shaman, I do not care about. Burglar Rat, I do. I don't think we need to prey upon. I'm going to take the rat. Oh, that's all. Like, what is that? A fifth, fourth pick Beast Whisper? Fifth pick Beast Whisper. My God. That's great. That's a beautiful baby. Pax Favor is probably where I want to be. Also, a Legion Guild Mage and a Beacon Bolt. <sighs> Prey Upon number three. All right, I'll finally take you, Prey Upon. Oh, wow. That's a late Crawl Harpooner. Good Lord. These picks are great. I would love this Rhizome Lurcher, but I can't pass up a Crawl Harpooner there. Or you. Wow. Pedial Scorgon came back. I think we can actually get another canopy. There it is. Alright, sweet. Two canopies in the sideboard. That's great. Three canopies in the sideboard. Deal. So we need two cuts. I think one of them is going to be Discovery Dispersal, because it's kind of narrow. And likely... Probably bats. Do you tell me how many creatures I have? 17 creatures, so we can go down to... Yeah, that's good. I like that. 10-7. Let's go down to 9-8. Sweet. All right, cool. I'm already a Patreon. All right, well, take it easy. Take it easy. You should buy a money. Sorry, monkey, with money. <laughs> oh, man. That... that Oh, Necrolisk is the worst creature haver played? What does that mean? I That's the weirdest. I don't think that's accurate in any way, shape, or form. Rainer Yugu, thank you so much for the, for the, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. feel about this I don't you don't have to use the ability in combat you sacrifice your iron shell beetle to make a 4-4 and then you attack with menace because a 4-4 menace creature is very good and if you don't use the ability it's a 3-3 for 4 which is pretty standard in most limited formats so I literally have no idea what you're talking about I'm gonna keep this hand one swamp and we're in good shape Rainer Yugu did I win all right. Well, we can still cast two things, so. Oh. I'm glad this isn't the other one drop. All right. Four, four forests. We get it. I understand now. Mindset throw. Have a good night, buddy. Uh, Submit.
in the Golgari decks where you have a bunch of throwaway creatures like Burglar Rat and Generous Stray and Iron Iron Shell Beetle, I actually think Necrolisk is pretty solid. I have no issue with the Necrolisk whatsoever. I just don't see the benefit of saying it's the worst creature you've ever played. Like, there's no... Like, that kind of hyperbole just doesn't do anything. Um, I'm actually tempted to block here because this guy's not going to do much. We're not going to attack into the, this guy. All right, now we're, now we're talking. Do I have like... Do I have like a thing on me when I when it's my turn? Like a sigil? Like not a sigil, but like a like a thing? No blocks. Alright, well creatures is really it's really what I'm looking for here. So, I'm not going to attack here. Don't I have bigger creatures? Where's my Ritual of Soot? It's probably the only bad creature in the set. That's still just as hyperbolic. That That's still inaccurate. It's a 3-3 three, three for 4. Like, that's completely standard. That's literally just a normal creature. Only it gets Menace, which is an evasive ability. Like, I don't understand... Right, more lands. You got it. Where's my ritual set? Pass the turn. Just gonna keep on playing land. Eight lands and Five spells. A classic. Cool. Three, four, five, six. We go to three, and even if we draw a ritual, we can't kill this. So that was a fun game. I had a good time. I don't know if you guys did. <clears throat> four mana, four, three, always two E E E E. I have no idea what you're saying right now. Um, definitely bringing in Mephitic Vapors here. Take out the worm. Bring in the Vapors. I got the Vapors. I don't think we want two here. I think one is fine. I will play first. Boy, this hand's rough too. What's going on right now? I think he meant he. <laughs> Touche. Yeah, good good point. Solid point. I will keep this hand. Ritual of Soot, I'll keep that as well. Oh, this is not Artifact. Dang it. I gotta change it again. I wish you could tell. Oh, that's annoying.
right. I apologize. We have switched. Wow, we dropped a bunch of combat. Play this guy. All right. Well. Why is it impossible that all the cards are very playable? Why is that impossible? I mean, it sounds like a, an idea that you like think is impossible, but it doesn't really. It's not necessarily impossible. Uh, I'm gonna keep both of these. Upgrade Brigade, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. I don't think we really have to. I don't really have to do anything here. Definitely not going to run more guys out into the Ritual of Soot. I see. Well. I will kill that thing. I kept two mana up. That's interesting. Why not attack with this guy? Trash can for both of you. Well, that was nice. That was a nice surveil. We didn't attack because if they attack, we'll likely block so that we can... Ritual of suit. Yeah, we're probably just going to ritual now. They have two cards. That is one intrusive pack beast. Oh, that's good. Now we get to hit their last card. Yes, please. Cosmotronic wave. That's cute. Well, you only need one mana up for Crater Maker. It's definitely it's not a it's not a two mana ability. But, I don't know. There's no but there, I guess. All right, there's a lot of lands here. Super to Sonic. Cosmotronic. Uh, let's see, let you attack. This guy. Let's put the land in the graveyard. <laughs> so I've, I've surveilled three lands to the graveyard. All right. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands. Card is a church. I want to be, and my card's a land. Okie dokie. Seems good. Oh, that's actually great.
Don't want to play this unless we're putting the counter on it, so... Yeah, I'm, I mean, they're going to attack with this guy for three, and then we're going to be able to get in there for, like, six next turn, so that's pretty cool. It's also a thing. Five against Boros feels pretty good. So I think we definitely win this race. <laughs> so, yeah, all right. Wait, what the what just happened? Why did it skip past my combat set? Huh. Okay, that was very strange. Yep, that was weird. That was super weird. I have no idea why I did that. Like, I know I didn't hit past turn. But I didn't click anything is the problem. I literally went to click my Null Hide Ferox, then I brought it back to my hand. And then I clicked Combat to go to Combat, and I think, like, I don't know, I'd like to see the replay on that guy. Because I have no idea how that worked. Also, it was pretty rewarding to win with the worst card in the format. Too thick. Hashtag too thick. I hope they give this guy haste. Oh, you ready? Crazy little thing called haste. Mm hmm. Burglar rat. It's a rat. It's a burglar rat. You ready? Oh, you're gonna put on that courier? What a what a what a play. That's a draft I'll put a lot of filler. That's a draft decks are. Draft decks are a lot of filler. You don't get 23 great cards. Like you play filler cards. That's literally how magic works. These are weird opinions where you're just like, you're everyone has the best deck ever. And uh It's just not how magic works. Yeah, I'm gonna deadweight you. So they have two cards, we have four cards. I can't help but feel like we're in a pretty solid position here, especially when one of their cards is a torch courier. Oh, Melvin, you're the hero we need. Alright, 
I killed their guy. Goes to my turn. I go to play the Nullhide Ferox. I put it back in my hand. Wait, what? I click combat. And then it just goes to their turn. What just happened? That was super weird, dude. Like, you can see there's no, like, there's no button. It doesn't go combat, then the button doesn't come back up, and then go to something, go to, like, end turn afterwards. Wow, that's super weird. Because even then it wouldn't do that, right? It would go, like, I'd go, I'd click on combat. And even if I clicked it too fast, if I clicked again, I would just go through the attack step. I wouldn't go through my entire turn. So I'd click attack. And then there would be a significant delay. I would get to choose attack or no attackers. There's a lot of steps. This didn't come up. There wasn't two buttons. That's super weird, man. And then it would say end. I'm... Wow, that's confusing. But, like, my mouse doesn't go over the past the turn at any point. Why did it skip past my combat step? Yeah. <laughs> it does look like that. But if you look, like, their their guy deals damage to me, and I have passed the turn on, right? Because it's on their turn. And then at, like, the four-second mark, it looks like it goes to my turn, and it doesn't actually turn off from the previous turn. That's pretty weird. So I feel like we just get rid of this guy and then we just have a much better thing. What's he saying? I don't know. I'm just going to play you. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like I had passed the turn from their turn. And then when it transitions to my turn, it just stayed on. That's super weird. Uh, you know what? I'll trade this guy for your, your ornery gobo if you'd like. That's, yeah, that's what it looks like to me, too. Oh, Crawl Harpooner gets to kill this guy, right? That's a good trade. I'll take a two. I'll trade my two drop for your five drop. I could also just pump this guy to keep my creature alive. But I think having the on the removal is probably better. Eh. Stumbled across a deck while brewing and standard that plays like old planar cleansing sphinx's rev. I can't dedicate that much time to refining it, but we won't have you pass on the list so you can have fun. Yeah, definitely. I'll take a gander. Um, we'll play a, this beetle boy. This Beetle Boy is at it again. And everybody get in there. Alright. It feels like we're doing okay. Keep it, keep it going. Keep the pressure on. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, why would you do that? That guy has a family. Mm, yeah, 
that's fine. You got another trick up your sleeve? Do I use my shirt strike? Likely not. Likely not. Why are you the way that you are? This guy. Land in the garbage. But you can activate your dissident with the land. Yeah, we're good. Oh, that's a thing. Free combat, Beast Whisperer. Don't care. <laughs> Sorry, act on impulse. I'll send my condolences at once. Oh, man. Good times. All right, well, that was a struggle. Can you handle it? Are you ready? Crazy little thing called love. Why is Ant taken? What? How is Babby formed? Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Any null hide Ferox hand with multiple two drops is a keeper, I would say. gonna play crawl harpooner because it gets past this stupid pork call is fine who has taken who has taken ant it's a good question mm hmm dead weight's a good card did it boys time for the beatings Gaia's blessing oh my god dude all right hold on let me copy and paste this uh no attacker seems fine Teferi, all right. No, three cleansing. No, how many Teferi? Four Teferi. Good lord, that's a lot of Teferis. Was this three two? Ain't nobody got time for that guy. If you have the lands, I'd appreciate them. Because I don't like, I don't want to make up the mana base. That would take up a, 
Yeah, I'll just play through drop here. And this guy just gets better over time. Gaia's Blessing is in Standard. It was in Dominaria, actually. You wouldn't know, because it's not really a top-tier card. Oh, they're activating Null Hide Ferox's ability. No longer has Hexproof. Severage Transit. It does seem pretty good. Yeah, us having 8 power on board and them having nothing and being at 9 seems good. Okay. So we can put you to 2 here, and we have no real plays that... Make that a bad idea. Attack. All attackers. Two attackers. Pump your face. Put you to Who do we get rid of? I'll get rid of Okapi. Sure. Boom. 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 Oh, the end. All right. It's a good game. We had a good game, huh? Oh, appreciate it, appreciate it. One Relic of Tower. All right, so Sunpetal Grove was the last one. Awesome. Good deal. Yeah, see, I wouldn't have known four Temple Garden, four Hintelin Harbor, three planes, five islands. That would have been... That would have been a pain to have to figure out. Um, I guess this is fine. We didn't see any floaty boys or enchantments, so... Yeah, I don't really. I'm not really particularly threatened by what they're what they're what they're showing us here. I will keep. You're going to need to discard down to seven cards. Look at that beautiful spinal centipede. Oh boy. A block, eh? That's fine. Our hand is pretty stacked, as, as long as we can draw another forest. Oh, we didn't hit one. That's cool. That's cool. That's they also missed a land drop, so that's good. God, I want to play one of these double green cards. However, it's not an option, you see. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just play this. I was going to kill this guy anyway, so now we get to actually do this and still play Crawl Harpooner to get some damage in, so... Ooh, 
How come some creatures have noises and others don't? Well, that's a good one. It's your boy. Come on, you know, your boy. Oh, here we go again. Severed strands. Like you do. Yep. Jesus. Every game, several strands in a deadly visit. Ugh. Yes, the goblin is actually dabbing. I'm gonna keep both of these. They have four cards, we have three cards. Now they have three. Oh, a seven, seven. We got seven strands for that guy. Can we just severed strands now? And then fight this guy next turn, probably, right? It takes we take three instead of seven. I'm still gonna just keep this swamp in case they have like burglar rat. I don't wanna lose either of these. Take action. So this gets around dead weight. That dude's huge. Well, that's aggressive. If they had another one, they would have just cast it, right? So they have a way to deal with this next turn. If they if we end the turn. Alright, we just win. I don't know how, because they could have blocked our Gorgon. But I'll take it. Two wins. Seems good. Is this win a game or win a match? I don't know. We only won two matches though, so I don't imagine it'd be at uh
play first. Um, Mulligan the one land hand with the six drop and the four drop. Oh, another one lander with a six drop and a four drop. Two four drops this time. I'm going to keep it. Ritual of Sip might get us out of this mess. If we draw Swamp Swamp. I don't know. Oh, yes. All right. Ritual of Sip's going to be MVP now. Fast turn. Fast turn. can play a thing. Come on, two swamps. Two swamps against the Boros deck. That's all I ever want. Okay. Okay, not a swamp, it's a black card. I know, they're often different. Vapors and Ritual of Soot looking real good here. You know what's looking even better? Swamps. Get that guy flying, huh? Fascinating. Oh, a double black card. That is a good one. No attackers. Wanted to make sure they didn't use, uh... <laughs> I wanted to make sure we didn't use all of our lands because we have status statue in hand, so... Oh! One down. One down. We're getting there. Definitely Clarion. I mean, this might have been. We might have just wanted to ritual of, uh, to stat to statue this guy, maybe. But I, I have my I have my faith in the light. So now they're gonna play a dude. Okay. Well, now we're going to three here. I'm uncomfortable with that. tried. Mephitic Vapors, bring it on in. Bigger Spine Worm, come on out. Done. play first. Uh, definitely keeping this hand. Perfect!
right, Mephitic Vapor is target number one. I doubt they're trading. I did not think so. This feels like a vapor's turn. It's a one for one, but uh, gets rid of this. Gets rid of their. They can't attack, so. Hey, that's pretty okay. worse than I expected. Like, if they have Sure Strike, it's just an utter blowout. They didn't have Sure Strike. Wow. It's just a one for one. We just traded a generous stray for a Boyak Bodyguard. That seems great. Especially because we're pretty far ahead here. And we get to eat the last card. That guy. <laughs> I'm pretty clearly telegraphing. <laughs> This is a fine trade. We're going to lose the Burglar Rat anyway next turn, so it is what it is. They're going to trade here, but eh, that's fine. I imagine they're just going to tap this guy down. Sure. What's up, baby magic? is probably going to do the job there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana on board, so even if we draw like Deadly Visit, we can still cast it. Deadly visit actually one time I'll also take a severed strand. It's for a forest. 
Eight cards to eleven. Uh, eight, eight, eight cards to eleven lands. Not ideal. Whether you just block here and here. I actually think that's fine. Round three, it's not looking great for us. I mean, they can spend five mana to tap this guy. Another land. Fantastic. Oh. Seems good. Just you, huh? Oh, I guess we take six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess we're just dead then. Yep. That's a solid play. figure out what I'm eating after this. I have to have dinner at like 1 a.m. <laughs> Thanks to late night streams. You know what? I'll keep it. What happened to Freshly Brewed? We just stopped doing it. Churches will not be open at 1 a.m. <laughs> as, as you might as you might assume. Oh, another Boros deck. Oh, nice. I agree. I, I want the biscuits as well, but... But my biscuits... We could block and pump, but they have four mana up, so that doesn't feel safe. Oh, 
Oh, dissident. Let's attack with both. Because if they want to block, they're not going to block. We can status statue and kill this guy. We could have actually waited to see if they pump the Boros Challenger to mentor onto both. Ritual of Snoots. I kind of hope they play like two, three drops. A land and two, three drops. That would be ideal. And I'll just ritual of soot it all away. One down. Right. We're definitely ritualing here. Maybe. Yeah, we'll definitely ritual here. I think we can actually wait a turn. I have no reason to ritual here. We can just block here. They'll mentor. Maybe we can get one more guy out of it. The problem is if they play a bigger guy, like a 4-drop or a 5-drop, then we have to go into that turn without any... Without any creatures resolves. I'll be satisfied with this delicious three for one. And next turn we can play Whisper Agent or Wary Okapi and Deadweight. Or if we hit a land, we can play both. That's pretty good. Negative 11 degrees. Oh my god. That's not reasonable. End combat. Runaway Steamkin. Not ideal. Oh, that's that's better. Necrolis gonna be doing some work here. I don't know how big this guy can get, so we're just gonna get rid of him now. And have the lethal on the board. Winter is coming. <laughs> Winter is coming. Mm, that's rude.
Lethal on board again. All right. Scoop him up. Well, dang it. I don't think it's worth... So we pray upon they go to six, but then we deal five. I'm going to actually do it because it puts it means they have to deal with both of our guys. Because putting them to one seems better than putting them... Like, they would... Uh, alternatively, they would block here and then go to two. And then we'd have one guy on board, so any creature is able to block. Whereas now both of these guys are lethal. This didn't seem like a Mephitic Vapors. Like, they had a bunch of 2-3s, so I don't think we care about that. Uh. I think we'll probably just leave it like this. Maybe Crushing Canopy could be good. Yeah, I like a Crushing Canopy in here. And we'll get rid of... I like the Worm. The Worm is actually pretty decent. Crushing Canopy also gets rid of their Conclave a Tribunal. I got the Gorgon. I don't think the Gorgon is as good against Boros because you're just going to trade anyway. Beetle Borg. <laughs> oh, I'm going to keep this just because of Nullhide Ferox. And we have double, double black, double green is what you want in this deck, so... I'm okay with it. And a dead weight seems very, very good. Here comes Boros Challenger. Yep, <laughs> look at that. Amazing. Um, just gonna deadweight this guy. It doesn't kill it, but it kind of does. I'm okay, Dad. <laughs> That's a classic. Oh man, where's my mephitic vapors now? Ritual of Sud one time. So I can kill all these idiots. That was not a ritual of soot. I'm just gonna play this guy and make a 2 2 because they have a bunch of 1 1 idiots. Big, fat, dumb elephant. Uh, no attacks. Ideally, you don't have a tribunal, because you can go tap two, and then one, two, three, four, and tribunal this guy. And that's pretty bad. Ah, uh, classic case of the never-don't-have-its, I see. 
a classic case of the never don't have it. Exactly. Well, fashion related to the party. I guess we're going to take another turn off a block and then we'll just wait for them to do things. Play a four drop. Play a three drop. Oh, this guy doesn't die though. Oh, that's annoying. That was a, oh boy, that's a solid draw. All right, let's do that. Wow. All right, everything's coming up Millhouse here. We can still play Ritual and get rid of two reasonably threatening gentlemen. If they play a three drop, it's just super over. Tanos, what's going on, buddy? Oh, Luminous Bonds, how nice, how nice. Probably want the other creeping canopy, crushing canopy in here. Yep, keep the lands coming. What'd you end up getting for dinner? Oh, I told a story about this actually earlier. So we tried to get Church's chicken for dinner. We had we were gonna get it delivered from Uber Eats, and then we called and we were like, hey, or we didn't call. They they sent us a message and it was like, hey, your order's been canceled. And I was like, huh, that's weird. So we called the restaurant and we were like, what time do you guys close? And this was like 8.40, 8.40, 45 maybe. And we're like, what time do you close? And they were like, uh, 10. And we we're like, oh, okay. That's only, that's weird. So it's not a closed issue. And then we were like, all right, let's call again and see if we can figure out, um, I have a crushing canopy. It might be worth keeping this guy on board. Let's see if we can figure out like what the reason was that they canceled the order. So we, we called and we're like, no answer. Just rang for like 10 times. Um, so Mike's like, forget it. I'm just going to drive there and see what's going on. So Mike goes over there and he sends me a message and he's like, all right, so I figured out the problem. They're just out of chicken. Apparently they just ran out of chicken. They had no chicken left of any kind. So... Kind of strange. I could save this guy, but uh, I'd rather just have a 3-2 on the board. They got one card. We can. So after that, we ended up just ordering pizza. We're just like, it was too late. It was like 9.15 by that point. A lot of things were closed. So we're just like, forget it. We're just ordering pizza. So really appreciate it, buddy. Demotion. Okay. Demotion of the ocean. I will take one. And we still have enough to pump this guy, so that's good. You just need to get a deep fryer at Costco. Everything, yeah, every time we try to order chicken of some sort, it goes wrong. Order Boston Market, they send us two rotisserie chickens instead of three pot pies. Order... Uh, churches, they just don't have any chicken. All right. So this is a 2-2 now. I think we're actually going to kill this because I don't really want to die. And we gain four life, which is pretty backbreaking. Oh, 
Oh, I think this game's over. We have two lethal threats. Three lethal threats if you consider status statue, so. Best fried chicken I've had uses crushed up saltines for breading. Whoa, that seems amazing. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's their turn. All right. Yeah, we're just combat tricks for days. Are they just going to make us attack? Do they have settle wreckage? <laughs> so they're going to go to seven... And then they die. I hadn't either. I've made it a couple times since for chicken. How was it? How was it after you made it? Is it is it just as good making it from home? Or dare I say Ritz crackers? <laughs> dare I say Ritz? Oh, an air arterial flow. Arterial flow. Let me cancel this because I want to see three three wins is breaking even, right? No, four wins is breaking even. Didn't we have three wins? Wasn't that our third win? Oh yeah, we do. We have this right. So now we're playing for our fourth win. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I was like, I'm pretty sure we played three wins. Well, this hand's good. JK. Oh, this hand's fine. Um, I'm going to keep this. Could be great. Could be terrible. Look how angry Gideon is. He looks like, literally looks like Wolverine there. I might just start with Beast Whisper, uh, play Ritual, and then lead into Pitiless, Pitiless Gorgon. Or I might just go uh, Ritual first. Who knows? Are you any good at draft? Um... I think so. That's a weird comment to leave on the internet because, like, I don't know you, so it could come off as really. It, there's a lot of weird ways that can come off as. Uh, yeah, I have no incentive to play a Gorgon here. Gideon isn't Gideon the, the Wolverine of the Magic World. Oh, that's sad because it's got a big butt. It doesn't have a... It, it's got a pretty small front, though. Uh, let's go green. Don't have Command the Storm. That's all I'm asking. Oh, this is my rubble belt board. My deck is full of four drops. Terrible drafts tells killer fried chicken stories. Nailed it. Nailed it. This is old Papa Rubble Belt. Draw card. Severed strands. Oh, sever me strands. <laughs> That's not a good joke at all. That just sounds ridiculous. Uh, we'll just 
No attacks here. Tonos with the gifted sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Thanks so much. Can't forget to make his turn from turn in the store manager. He was Bolus's hired planeswalker bounty hunter. That'd be s that would be pretty sick, actually. Well, if it helps you any, I can't even get fried chicken. Sonic a slot. Yep, you can tap that dude down. I'll Sonic Assault your other guy, too. Oh yeah, now our ritualist so just got just got beautiful. So we can actually severed strands. We're gonna attack for two here. Severed strands to kill this, and then we'll ritual of soot. <laughs> Tonos, you know what's funny? As soon as I saw the MTG bot and not having access to the emotes, I was like, Tonos is gonna gift that thing a sub. I know it. So that's pretty comical. Uh, combat. Just you. I have my doubts you're gonna. All right, cool. Severed strands. All right, so that worked out okay. Next time we get to play Okapi, and if we draw another card, we get to draw two cards off of the Beast Whisperer, so that's not terrible. They have no pressure. Oof. Oof! That's a good dude. And now they're going to Sonic Assault our guy, right? Maybe. Maybe. Wow, that's right. Well, we do need a forest now in order to play both of these, which is pretty problematic. Yep, that's not it. Cool. I think we're actually dead now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, we're not dead, but really not having access to a third forest as opposed to a sixth swamp is pretty obnoxious. I didn't want to be gross. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, five. So we go to four here. Oh, look, another forest. How nice. And another one after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm, ten to six. Quite the reasonable, uh, reasonable distribution of lands to spells so far. Well, they could have nothing. Oh, all right. Well, block you, block you, take three, go to one. Never don't have it. The legend of never don't have it continues. I don't think we really want anything else here. Crushing Canopy actually seems great. Ritual seems pretty okay, especially against the stupid idiots. <laughs> eh, I'll take out the worm. The worm keeps being the easy cut. Uh, keep the sand. Oh man, 
that pun. I did not actually get that, so uh, I'm, I'm glad you explained that because, boy, that is obscure. See you later, bye. I mean, if they're radical ideasing in their main phase, that's pretty good for our six power on board. They could just have selective snare to bounce, but like, what do you bounce? Either one of these is fine. It's just a rhizome lurcher. I actually don't know what you could have here. Maybe just radical ideas again? Regular old animals, like this zombie lizard, for example. So they did radical ideas and they discarded a sonic assault, is what it looks like. I just get to block this guy. Oh, you're gonna bounce my necrolisk. Well, that's something, isn't it? Isn't that special? So just this guy is the only one attacking? Okay. Deal. Well, Sonic Assault your wary Okapi, you see. I feel like you gotta block something here. Let's trade here. Three, four, five, six, seven. This is lethal, so you actually literally do have to block something. Oh, that's really interesting. That's your dazzling lights, my guy. So you got a four, you got a three? What is even happening right now? I guess we just play Rise under Necrolisk again, right? So what happens if they tap our two blockers with double Sonic Assault? We go to 13, we take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we go to 8. It doesn't seem terrible. But then again, why do, what do I know about what's terrible? All right, that's pretty not great. Do I just get to eat this guy? Okay. 
I just give this guy menace and kill him? You're at three? You can block two things and you can Sonic Assault one. So biggest, 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 you take three. So you Sonic Assault this guy for sure. I'm just gonna go combat, I guess. Tap down, so you block. You're dead. Two two to here. Three three to here. One one to here. Oh, maybe you aren't dead. You deal with two, you block three. Sure. You block here and then you block the one one. Oh, you're gonna take one, go to two. Okay. Beetle, crab, cat, rat, bat, frog. Actually, that's a good point. That's <laughs> that is a lot of animals. Um. <clears throat> Seems fine. keep this because we have at least three plays with any land and all we need is a forest and our odds of drawing a forest is super high because you know we're very good at drawing our, our lands see I told you guys you guys are worried for nothing Uh, does unicorn count as a horse? Wow. No, the same way a donkey doesn't count as a horse. My god. That's unbelievable. No blocks. I will take two. Um, alright, you have two. Did you mulligan this game? I actually don't know. I'm tempted to go Rat Beetle. Rat Beetle. Rat Beetle is also the name of my... Can't Disdainful Stroke it. This is a lot of swampums. Just you. Does the A in MTGA stand for artifact? Yeah, it's Magic the Gathering Artifact. Everybody knows that, Chris.
Oh god, if we hit a land drop and then we can affiction it Indric. Oh boy. Oh boy. Really? If I hit a land drop, I'm pretty sure it's over. Um, I'm gonna keep that though, because that's just as good in this situation, in this sitch. Yeah. We actually have lethal on board. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Krabby's pretty good though. I guess we gotta make a sacrifice. Make a sacrifice to the crab. Goodbye, little crab. I'll see you later. Alright, so one more match. Win or lose. Oh, an Ever Dawn Champion. Another card that we'll never see play in a constructed deck, so I don't know why they chose to give those out, but what do I know? I don't make the decisions here. green for this guy, but we can play this guy. I'll keep this hand. Oh, man. Oh, man. We're gonna be we're gonna be strangling soot rituals of sooting all day. You got it. You can have this, gentlemen. Oh, boy. We, we're good at this game. I want to actually play Burglar Rat because not only can it block the Hunted Witness. Oh, I can't because they're going to mentor onto it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, they got rid of a Righteous Blow, which is... Uh, that's nice. Play another two drop. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is sad, though, because they're going to get dudes out of these dudes. Dudes out of their dudes. I hate throwing these guys out when we're going clearly going to play Ritual of Soot, but I don't want them to just be like, guy, guy. So I'm going to try to get rid of one of these hunted witnesses before that happens. Which we were able to do. I also don't want to take 11 here, so I think this is reasonable. Or go to 11, rather. Resolve. Play one more cheap dude. Oh, come on, really? That's not fair. Meh. 
taking five. We got like eight. They'll play a dude because they never don't have a dude. We're gonna kill this, and then we're gonna take three and go to five. And I'm pretty sure we're actually just too far behind at this point. We also play Whisper Agent and kill the unicorn, but that nah, seems bad. I think we're actually dead. I think we're just too far behind here. Bridge bully, good, to, good. Glad you could finally join. Um, if we kill this, this is pr presenting the most damage. This is presenting eight, six damage right now. Uh, which we're dead if we actually don't kill it, right? If we kill this, we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We go to one. That was probably the most perfect thing I could have played last turn. Because instead of taking... Uh, we took four extra points last turn. What is asking target creature you control, target creature you control. So we're going to take two and go to three here, which is okay. They might not have the sure strike. All right, well, now they have one card to have it, and they didn't have it. I don't really feel comfortable attacking here. I will attack with this next turn and we can have two blockers. I'm going to stop during my upkeep so I can... Yep, that card's brutal. Because if we attack with the Nullhide Frogs, we just die. So. Yeah. Payless Gorgon is our answer to True Fire Captain right now. What we really want is a deadly visit and a land. before they, like, draw answers to our things. Well, that's what we we're afraid of. So five guys, we have four blockers, so they have, we, we're going to take two, yep, we're basically dead here. We're literally dead here. Yep, exaxes. I mean, we could just block here, right? So we take, hold on, let's find out. So we take three, four, five. I guess we actually, if we block here, we take two. We go to one. So one gets through, and then we take two, three. Oh, has the marshals not being blocked right now? So now we take two, three, four. Yep. All right. Not ideal, but. One. Oh, yeah, we're probably. I mean, we have no answer to this, so. Yep, that is definitely not an answer to this. Five, six, Thank 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, concede. Tonos with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Get ready for game two. Get ready for game two. 
Uh, also feel like crushing canopy is probably good here. I'll just play 41 because we haven't done it yet. I will play first, as you can imagine. Mephitic Vapors and a dead weight and a rat. I'll keep this hand. This is another situation where one green makes a gray, but we can play all of these cards without the green, so. off to you. Well, that's sad. Well, that's also sad. Oh, okay. Oh, here, this is how we're going to go out. Have a better block than this? Not really. God, the mentor in this is so brutal. Well, that dude's completely obnoxious, especially because I don't have any more lands. Land one time. Alright, we did it. So I doubt they're attacking with this, which means this is a fine... I'm not going to take six from this guy. I'm just going to block. Oh, this is actually... That's even better. Far Vapors. My turn. Land here again would have been nice, because then we can go Vapors into Dissident. But I'm just going to kill this, because this represents six damage. This is only four. I can't mentor onto this. And maybe even they play another one toughness creature like a haunted, a haunted witness or something. Any luck? No. Okay. Uh, I think I just want the land here, but yeah, I'll probably just want the land. Because then we can go dissident into Whisper Agent. Actually, we know what we're going to draw, so we're going to draw the land. Could have also played Rhizome Lurcher. That's eh, fine. Lurcher, Lurcher is a 6-6 against Boros, which is pretty insane.
I mean, we use instant speed removal at sorcerer speed because I'd much rather pass my turn than have to keep up and click through every single phase. Like, this is not physical magic, this is digital magic where uh, it's much better to have a way to... I mean, I'd rather just... We can't block this, so we're just going to attack and try to get this Pax Favor out. So we theoretically can win next turn if they don't have anything here. Oh, all right. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll just try to go for people here. Seems good. Do we put a crushing canopy? Do we have three? Oh, we do. So we saw luminous bonds. I don't think we saw. Oh, we saw the, the other flyer too. Maybe we just want two of these. I don't want to gum to my hand though. We didn't see too many flyers. I think this is actually fine. Wow. <laughs> That's how lucky do we feel like we are with the green lands? I'd be satisfied with one. I'm gonna mulligan. I'm gonna keep it. We're on the draw. I think it's fine. Any any green source and we have a lot of game. Or we can just hit Mephitic Vapors and be absolutely over the moon. Okay, well, nothing yet. Come on. Gener forest one time. Ritual of Soot. Okay, we'll have to discard. Seems good. They didn't play anything, so we're still we're still we're still alive. It's okay. Forest into any land still gets us real far back in this game. Well, less so now. And that's not the one we needed. So now we take one, two, three. They make a guy, and we take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, we're just literally gonna lose because we can forest. Oh well. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch if you guys uh, are interested in catching the stream or supporting the content in any way, shape, or form other than just watching on YouTube. Uh, you can find those links in the description. If you want to purchase something, you can go to meundies.com slash franklapore. You will get a 15% discount. You will also get free shipping and free returns on your onesies, on your lounge pants, on your socks, on your tees, on your shirts, on your unders, whatever you guys want. 15% uh, off and... Uh, supports me it helps you guys everybody wins so thank you guys for watching i will see you next time and that's it i guess